<laughs> Hello, John B. B. Slipgator. What up, peeps? It's Slipgator and John B. Back in our friggin', uh, I'm just gonna say it. Ridiculously sexy factory. Playing some more satisfactory. Hey, John. It's a very satisfactory, sexy factory. Yes. It, yes, it looks I agree. Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are, <clears throat> how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking, my good man. Dude, so check it out. We got all the stuff and things. In the last episode, we finally finished the automation of, what, rods and plates and got some sexy storage up and running. So we're good mm -hmm. to go there. And we have double X storage on the back. I like that. The double the X. double X storage. Dude, that's kind of where it's at, right? I mean, you saw it here first. We invented it. Double X storage. Bam. It's an infinity double X, too, because it kind of looks... Oh, I went, stink. I went to the stink forest again. I hate that. Uh, it, yeah, it looks like kind of like infinity X, so we have double infinity X going on. Yeah, it's great. But, uh, okay, so that was last episode. Today, what, automation of screws and reinforced iron plates, probably? Yes, assemblizations. But, and, and we're going to do that so that we can upgrade our space elevator... Because the next tier here requires, what, 50 rotors and 75 reinforced iron plates? Yep. And, you know, why do that in your inventory We can when you do it automation-wise? Did you know these have inputs on them, too? I did, dude. On the sides back over here, yeah. there's inputs. There's, like, three on each side. Yeah. Or the two sides. So, which yeah. is interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll be for higher tier stuff. Automate it completely. Maybe we could just automate it completely and have them make our rotors and, and plates and just run it in the hole. Yeah, but we we I I mean I'm not gonna lie to you, John. I, I made my reinforced iron plates. They're already in there. I, I already put them in. I just made them in my inventory. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I I made rotors already too, and I'm just gonna put them in there because I you know I did. And yoink seal seal. Wait, it wouldn't uh, seal. I guess we're sealing. Ah! Okay, it pushed in the hole. Send! Yoink! And then we're sending it! And there's no there's no earth shattering kaboom. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all, we're yeah. all did when we placed it to when you up Man. Well, it's probably coming in a future update. There will be more animations, but um so that does unlock what? Tier three in the hub, right? Yep. We have coal power, logistics MK2, rebar gun, medicinal inhaler. Wait, what? That's I think amazing. The, I think you have to sign a release form to use the medicinal inhaler. We got the medicinal inhaler? Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, wait. So, tier three. Tier two is done. Tier three, tractor, truck station. So, we need some rotors and, and reinforced iron plates to do all of these things. So, that's kind of like, yeah, the tier three, the next level. Yeah, and the logistics one, the MK2, that takes reinforced plates to make those as well. And so, the rebar gun. And, the, yeah, the medicinal inhaler. All of the things. Medicinal inhaler. Mm. All right. I wonder if they have, like, a cherry flavor, because that medicinal cherry <laughs> is the medicinal grape. It's probably that gross Robitussin grape. <laughs> it's pale berry. It's pale, pale berry. Dude, pale I wonder bear. if we can robo-trip it out over here in our alien world. Yeah. Dude, and, then drive the and then drive the trucks. <laughs> so we need assemblers next, right? Uh, we need I probably need to do one more constructor to get the uh, rods into screws. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And then, then, and you know what? I think do we just put these storages down to rearrange stuff because they're empty and they're not connected to anything? We could probably move those out and then run a couple out from our current X format to it to get the screws going and then maybe put the assemblers back here or something yeah uh back over in that area we could i guess i don't know however you want to do it um yeah, I'm, I'm down man let's let, how about we set up the actual machines over here so it looks nice and clean because we have a really nice and clean looking base yeah and I, i'm down with keeping it that way i mean i don't know, I don't know what you're feeling but you know you know i watched a lot of videos of people playing this and i gotta say man our base is pretty friggin' sexually attractive and clean Ooh, sexually attractive. Tra oh my god! So what? So that's S A A C sack. We've got a yeah, sack base. We got a sack base, dude. Oh, and I'm carrying nuts. Oh my god! This dude, is like heaven. This is amazing. Um, yes, can we? Oh wait, does that work? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Wait, like, no, not that guy. Railings around stuff. Well, railings around the the area here where we're going to. Around the yeah. the weird forest deal, so we don't start taking damage. 
Oh, like the warning area. Like, you know, do not enter. This oh, is this a stink is forest. Weird. I can only build this. You have to, it's the angle you're looking at it where it's going to snap to that affects the direction some too. No, oh, I, you're the stink forest. Watch out. I can't build it on this one foundation. Every other foundation, there's like, it's like every other. That is really weird. Maybe it doesn't like how it smells right there. Maybe. Like right now, I can't. That is so weird, dude. So, all right. If you put one next to where you want it, I think it'll snap to it, though. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get building, man. Let's do some stuff and things, and then we'll come back and show the peeps. Hey, Slip. Yeah. <laughs> I have something in my hand. Is it appropriate for viewers? Uh, Depends on what kind of view you are, maybe. There might be <laughs> someone that might not be appropriate for, because you know how this world is these days. Dude, what is that? It's a scanner thing, Blipper. The fisted Blipper? What? Yeah, you can scan for things like right now we have unlocked regular power slugs for it, and then I can press left click and look for nuts. So if I want slugs or nuts, nut slugs. Dude, nuts and slugs, slugs and nuts. Where do you make that thing? Over there, over this guy? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And it takes beacons and stuff, and it blips when you get closer to whatever you're scanning for. I'm gonna make an object scanner right now, man. I wanna see how this works. It's pretty cool. And when you tap right click, it'll toggle through whatever you can scan for at the current moment, which again, nuts and slugs. Hold on here. Right click. Power slugs, nuts. Power slugs, nuts. Power and slugs. Click brings up the radial. And if there's a slug over here on this cliff and you can kind of test it, like when you're looking at it, it blips. And as you get closer, it blips more. Oh, so it's not like a scan deal like the other one. It's like a blip deal. Nope. The beaconage. Interesting. And why do we need power slugs, John? Well, we have done a little bit of work over here, actually. We haven't showed them yet. We have the re full reinforced plate uh, production line created, but there's not enough in, uh, <laughs> incoming matter that we needed to do. So we need to find a way to overcharge or overload our system to increase the amount of production of iron rods to screws to and make more reinforced plates. How are we going to do that slip? Good question. Well, we're going to actually have to do power slugs. Power slugs are actually able to go in the slots of these machines and increase their output, also drawing more power at the same time. Did it, sh did it show? Does it show now <laughs> if we go up to the... Wait, let's just go find a yeah, constructor. No, you got slots. We got slots. We got the slots. This bottom here, yeah. you see the clock speed slots? So and we can, those are power shards that go in there. Yeah, so we can overclock machines to make them run faster, but, but they're going to utilize more power. And the reason that we're trying to do that is because we have set up this guy here, uh, a new constructor making screws that feeds into the storage that comes over here to the assembler that puts iron plates and screws together to make the uh, reinforced iron plates, but this is bottlenecking, and I think we're bottlenecking on screws. Yep, and we're not getting enough screws, because by the time, it's, well, now it's doing the screws, and no, yeah, we're still waiting. We're so still when waiting. it's done, it still has, it needs 12 more screws. So if we can double the output of the screws, the problem is, though, is that these conveyors are also running at max speed. They can carry up to 60 resources per minute, and it looks like it's full. So we're also going to be upgrading the conveyor belt to do 120 resources. But if we do that, we're still not getting enough screws to manage it. So we got to do the whole thing we're talking about doing. Right. Well, I think it's actually with the screws, it's 90 per minute on the conveyors because they're different. Their amount of screws. Right, right, but, right, right. So, all right. Let, we'll let's, make it 180 then. let's break this down. So we don't have enough screws. So then this is the maximum amount of screws that can come out of this conveyor. So in order to make more things go on the conveyor, we need the upgraded conveyors. We can build those guys uh already wait no not yet no we haven't we haven't not researched that just yet we're we almost at that point it. but it won't this matter also, coming out of the storage here we'll need to have the upgraded conveyor so it can handle all the extra screws coming into the assembler too right and then we'll need to put an overclocker on this constructor but also we'll probably need to start feeding in um more iron rods and that means that these constructors need to be overclocked and all of the feed uh, conveyors need to be upgraded as well so that we can maximize the production of the reinforced iron plates. And that is a, we have one other option, which is just to build more constructors and stuff, but I like this one better because it's more technologically advanced. Yeah. And that's kind of the point of the game. Like that's what makes satisfactory fun is finding an opportunity where you can do something really simple, like make your reinforced iron plates faster. But in order to do that, it takes a lot of work. So it's pretty cool. I like that. The progression is good. Yeah. Um, and so in order to do this, then that's all going to boil down to we need a lot more power. Mm-hmm. And in order, power. in order to do that, we have unlocked the coal power plant. 
right here. And inside the coal power plant, we've we've got something else unlocked too. Oh yeah. Well, the uh, tractor nailed it. Ace, it can't be stopped. You ready to make tractor? I made mine, dude. I made my tractor. Wait, why is mine not driving? Where's my inventory? You need bio stuff and things, man. Yoink. I have bio on me. All right, I'm gonna put it in here. So the tractor, we're gonna open the workbench, fill this bad ombre like so, and then yoink. I'm tractoring, yo. <laughs> Bumper whoa, is, whoa, 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 that John. That is interesting, man. Yoink. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> bumper tractors are a thing. Uh -huh. Dude, can't catch me. Can't catch me. I wish uh, there was a little short turbo. Oh, yeah, a little turbo boost would be great. Hey, hit okay, me from the back. I'll get you off the ledge. Get me, oh, go. I can't. Uh, uh. Um, hold on a second. Okay we, need to press, okay, we need to get off and press C to get our find out where a coal thing is. Right. Um, oh, also, I just want to mention really quickly, in addition to the tractor, you do get a truck station and you can automate these tractors to like go do stuff, basically move resources around for you. You have to put truck stops at the end, wherever you want to go and end and it will bring those resources. Yeah. And then I think you have to wait. I can't remember what button it is to record and do all the things. It's no, in no. the C menu. Yeah. 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 You're right. So you can start recording. Yeah. Do your recordings and able enable autopilots and all of that. So you know where we're gonna go. We're gonna go get coal, and we're gonna set up the coal plants. So then that way we can make way, way more um, power. So then we can do the overclockers. So we can upgrade all the things. So then we can make the reinforced iron plates. And I'm heading to coal now. All right, you're heading over to the coal deal. Ah, 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 no, whoa, oh, whoa. I think this is like ah. across a ravine, is it not? Yeah, but we can get to the edge of the ravine and then do the. Uh Whoa, stop, 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 Dude, be careful, be careful. All right. Oh, there's a baddie down here. Not Kill just him. me. Kill him. I'm trying, I'm trying to. There's no way I can put this on a hot bar. Ah, ah. Don't hit me. There he comes. I don't see him. There he's just stuck on you. What? You got it, John. You got this. Oh my God, get him back here. He's Dude, running. you can hit him with your truck and it stuns him. You got it, John. He's you dead. got this. He's there's dead. another he's one, there's another one. Where, where? Oh my God. Punched, I punched them in the face, too. The face girl. Nailed it. Nice. So, the coal is over there. I yeah. think what we should do is actually place a conveyor. Foundation, dude. And just run a conveyor over and run over. Oh, you think we should do that? Okay. Can can you reach the other side? Mm-hmm. Let's do this. So, I'm going to put a conveyor right here. And then run it over to the taller one. Perfect. <laughs> That's, but you have it running. Okay, you go ahead. You fine. go ahead. <laughs> it's fine, man. You mean. You for me. Oh, wow. I have a, such a long latency between stuffs. And then right over there. It did it before. There it is. There, where was it? Right right there. Ah. I am not going to walk over there until I see it because, you know. Uh, Fire guy. One of the fire guys yeah. is here. I got Horrible. this. I got this even though got I got like two HP. You better run! Yoink! <laughs> and yeah, there it is. And there's another one on the other side. There's another fireball, dude. Oh, okay. What's up, okay. Bro? Oh, there's a fat, there's a satisfactory S over there, or the 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 those the, the, yeah. The swallow. I don't think sparkle? it's a satisfactory. I think it's just that. Remember the S's people used to draw on desks in school. Where is it? The smog and flurgle? Flurgle? Yeah, it's over there on the edge. Oh, dude, what is that other thing? There's another thing. Oh, dude, what? Oh, those are those are the evil those are the evil fairy butterflies. Watch out! They're evil, but watch out! Watch out! Okay, I'm gonna go get the somber fog. Very, good. What? Wait! wait oh, oh, there they come! They're coming for you, man! Ah! Wait, where'd they go? They're coming for you, lol! <laughs> I don't even see them. Where they're, are they? They're on you. You're dead. I don't see them. No, they, they didn't show on my screen. You killed them all. You're amazing. Oh, okay, cool. Because I, I, I didn't believe they were there? Yeah. Power okay, of the mind, man. Secret power. Wow. It works in the games, too. Okay. Uh, This makes me scared. Don't even what? come near me and zerp me in the back while I'm out here. <laughs> hey, slip! <laughs> Zoom! I found sulfur. 
Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen sulfur before. Uh, I don't know what it's used for. I don't think we have it in the tier three stuff yet. But um, right so, over here, you go ahead. I was gonna say I found a way to not have to hold E while I'm looking at stuff to mine it. You hold E, then press Tab to go to your menu, and you'll just keep on mining it, so you don't have to hold E anymore if you're lazy. Uh, you know what we didn't bring? A portable miner. <laughs> no sir. So, but we, we have, have a workshop on the back of the truck, don't we? We have a coat. Oh, do we? Yes. Yeah, smart thinking. You're a freaking thinker. I do that sometimes. Your mom run is just amazing. I would say, I you, you know, if I had to follow you to go to the soccer game, I'd trust it. I have a hot mom bod. It's true. Uh, yes, we have a workbench. Craft bench. Yeah, it's in here. No, this is the other one. No, it's not the work one. doesn't have the portable ah. miner. All right, so we got to go get a portable miner. Come back here. You said there's two coal deals here? No, no, there's one, but I'm able to make two lines from it. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get back. All right. What? So you, uh, you want to get this all set up, and then we'll come back and show everybody our super amazing coal-powered stuff and things? I'm down, if you're down. Let's go, team! And we're back with way more frames when you run the game full screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't had that problem. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You were running in full screen the whole time. I haven't been. Mm -hmm. uh, you definitely should. If you're out there, if you're playing at home, uh, I changed to full screen, which I normally never run games in full full screen mode. And uh, boy, oh boy, did that make a difference. Uh, yep, definitely feels good, team. All right, check this out, man. So what we're going to do, like so and like so, right? Mm-hmm. Going to put a coal plant right up over here, wire that bad ombre in like so. I already gathered up a little bit of sexually attractive coal. We're going to squirt it in there to start producing stuff and things. And then, uh, 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 in. uh, in. splitter. Like so. So, bam, 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 bam. And we have two lines that we can bring off Yep, to bring back to base. So the thing here, too, is if you look at the miner inside of it, you'll see coal per minute. There's 120. And it's already backing up because our conveyors, if you look in your inventory, when you go over conveyor yeah. belt, it just transports up to 60 resources per minute. So the cool thing is, all we need to do, if we run two regular lines back, which are cheaper, is just upgrade this line right here. And okay. it will uh, push out 120, then it'll split into the one. So since this coal thing will normally be full most of the time, it'll push out 60 and 60 for us. And so we can maximize the amount of coal it produces at a default level. Nice, nice. Okay, so... And, and it we just upgrades immediately. Bam. We oh. unlock that, by the way. Oh, how did you do the upgrade? How did... Wait, what? I just pulled it out and it highlights the existing conveyor to blue and you click it and it's done. Oh, no way. Hold on. So you just like Q, MK2. Oh, and then you can just click it and it makes another two. Yep. And, yeah. And we didn't really tell the people. We did do the upgrade to get that just now. We got the we, MK2 we and we did. got this conveyor stacky deal too. We can stacky stacky. You want to go ahead and stack these on the way back? Yeah. Do you want to do a stacky stacky? Well, I'm down with a stacky stacky. Okay. The stackulizations. I'll put this in the top. Like so, and then like uh, so. Oh, you got it. Good Look deal. at that. Oh, my God. We are amazing. Yeah. So this is cool when you put the coal plant here. I mean, they're not that expensive, and then that will power the miner forever indefinitely. So you don't have to run power cable all the way out here. And yeah. And we have stackers now. Yeah. And like Stacker John was saying, team. it's pretty cool. We're maximizing the output of the coal by uh, doing this special coal deal thing. And then the reason that we go from the, the reason that we do the MK2 uh, conveyor into two of the singles is because the MK2s are kind of pricey. They require uh, reinforced One iron reinforced plate. plate. Yeah, that's yeah. just a lot. So they're pricey. So this way is a little bit cheaper. And it gives us a reason to use the stackers. Yeah, and it gives you a reason to use the stackers. <laughs> All right, looks good, man. Let's run this back and then set up the coal power generation. Are you ready? We're ready, dude. Are you ready? Dude. Okay, so we've we brought... I'm that. ready. You did, look at that. I know. That Our looks really nice. attractive coal stuff and things are ready to go. Now we just need the power oh, plant. so ready. All right, so the power plants, uh, I brought, made the stuff. So where's the stack? Let's make the stack face us. Is that look cool? Do you want to face away? I think the stack... Yeah, we need to face this anyway for the conveyor. You want it to go like that? Or do you yeah, want it to go... Cool? Or, do you want, or do you want like this? I, I was thinking like that, maybe. Okay, I like to do a coal overflow at the beginning. Is that okay? Like at least one or two storage boxes? Sure, like, do your thing, homie. In, if something happens, 
We'll, how about like this? And then like maybe one more next to it and then we can feed it back out. Perfect. I have no idea what you're doing, but let's go with it and see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and merger this thing together. Do we need to raise the, the conveyor at all anymore? Probably, bring it down. probably raise the roof a touch because um, it, if we don't, we won't be able to drive underneath it. So we probably have to go like that, actually. Hmm. Uh, hmm. We could try this and see, because you can't drive the trucks underneath. Maybe we need to just put another foundation down or something then first here what? and raise this merger up. I have no iron plates. Oh, I'm going to go get some of those. See what you can do over there. It'll be great. I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to put down one foundation on this corner. I'm going to okay. put maybe a half foundation to make it look like it's stepping up. How about that? Try it. See what it does, man. Do your thing, man. Oh, it doesn't. It's not stuck enough. Oh, it might. No, it's not. That's fine. We'll make this happen. Uh, merging, mer merging, merging. Control. I really like the control thing for the grid. That's super nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can control when you're on the on the ground. Yeah. Oh, the storages are off. Can't have that. We gotta have them square on the foundations. We can't have a messy looking base. It's gotta look nice. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see here. So we're trying to get a place where we can maybe come over to here. So the idea is that we're trying to be able to drive through this because you can't drive through these conveyors as we said before. Let's pull this guy off, that guy off, like so. So that way we'll have a little bit of an area here we can drive through. And hopefully these connect. Fingers crossed. He's done it. So once we bring this back in, once we bring it to our base, uh, like merge them together, we have to use the upgraded belts the rest of the way. Okay. Because it wouldn't be able to handle the load. <laughs> Let's go here. There. Merger has been merged. Is there no visual way to check? Wait. What's that? Is this a merger or a splitter? It should be a merger. Did I put a splitter down? I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's a visual way to check, and I think it's the three yeah, lines. Is. The three it, lines it, it, are it in. Is actually is in. Yeah, that is a splitter. Oopsie. It's all good. So we need a merger. If you want to merger rise. Can I build it again? Will it all work out like this? Hmm. Even though I didn't connect them. So here we're gonna need enough room left to do the loop back. We're, I'm gonna we're making a loop for the industrial plants, uh, or the coal plants that work. So what this does is it ends up letting us merge this incoming line to a loop that will feed all of our coal plants. So there's a consistent power flow. So any excess coal won't just back up; it'll continue to recirculate, recirculate. And then these storage units are put in here to capture the extra coal. So we have a backup in case something stupid happens that always happens in games. Okay, I don't think anything weird will happen, but that's cool, man. It looks like it'll work. Well, I did find out if you something cool too. I did find out if you um, if you select your or build your conveyors over into a splitter or a merger incorrectly, and then you replace it, it doesn't work. You have to replace the conveyors. Dude, look at those sexy son of a friggers! What? There we go. Dude, look at that coal coming in, man. Tink, 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 tink. I mean, we're doing a lot of these because we can. It's called, we have the maximum power. Dude, Got that's it. awesome, man. Perfect. Now, did you put an updated graded conveyor between those? You did. Looks good, man. And then in front of these, we need to line up the splitters and we need a merger here. So I think uh, too much. Sometimes. No, I think I got it, man. It just took me a second of kind of trying to figure out what, what the deal was, the reasoning behind it. But I think I understand now. It makes sense, man. It does. Because each time <laughs> each time that we get in copper, well, coal into one of these splitters, it's splitting it evenly right and, uh, and straight, right and straight, right and straight. So, yeah, you're going to get an even amount of, of power. Even though the jetties use it, they should be using the coal in an even amount. It doesn't matter. As you come down the chain here, you can see that, like, each one has a little bit more and a little bit more because it's getting 
more coal priority. There's a priority to the ones that are closer in the chain. Right. I got you. Exactly. Yeah, man, makes sense. So it's 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 all right. It's like it's good. It works. It yeah, does, I think it's pretty nice. I think it's an excuse to build something neat that's not like just here, just run like one conveyor into it too. It, right, it adds right. More, more stuff to it. But we got it done, and we got coal, and we have extra power, so that means we we're ready. Like next time, I guess to expand to our next plan. Well, we gotta, yeah, we gotta hook this guy up to the network, and then we can pull down. I think we should be able to pull down all the other power, right? Yep. We have a capacity of 250 megawatts with this setup. Yoink, like so, and then these guys be gone. Biomass bye burners. Bye. That guess we'll have the fuel just for the trucks and uh, go and do like monster truck exhibits and stuff. We can what? Wait, what? We're going monster truck? Yeah, we're gonna put down like crushed down cars and we're gonna build some ramps and jump over them and all that stuff. Oh, dude, we definitely need to do that, man. I'm down. We'll sell tickets. Never will be here. Whoa, I'm down for some monster here. truck stuff and things. Dude, look at this, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna unpee. I just unpeed, John. I'm going to go to the front and pee in front of all of it. Look at the sexually attractive coal power extravaganza. It's amazing. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. That looks good. And look at our power consumption based on capacity. 290 megawatts. Oh, we got two of those biomass burners, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still running over there. But um, very cool, man. And I like your little loop deal. It took me a second to get on board with it, but I'm down. Okay. Well, there you go. And it can be used for other things, too. Like, if we have a lot of iron ingots coming in, and we need to distribute it evenly amongst a bunch of constructors instead of worrying about, like, individual lines, you can make a loop between it then run splitters off the end. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Is that... Are we good? We're good to go, man. Dude, what a great day. Superpower stuff it, that's taken care of. This adds a monumental visual to the base, too. It does. It does make it look really, really good. Did you see? We have a lookout now. Do you want to go to the lookout? Yeah, where's the lookout at? I want to go. We need a... They need the truck the, they need, I wish we could. They need, like, a, a lookout upgrade, because I don't think this one's even big enough to show our, our whole amazing base and how amazing it is. It'd be cool if you could place it like a conveyor and kind of hold it and pull up and it go up higher. Oh, maybe you can. We just don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Let's take out. Let's check out our base. I've been looking at a lot of people's bases, dude. Our base is a friggin' factory, man, for sure. It looks great. Let's see, let's see. I, I will concur. As what? It looks like a factory. It does, uh, man. The power supply grid looks so much nicer. And guess what? We don't have to think about it anymore. No. Like the biofuel. Like, are we good on biofuel before we go on a trip? Now it's just like ah. Uh, now you just use pollution. it for chainsaws and trucks. That's all you need it for. Uh, that's a good band name. Chainsaws and trucks? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Dude, I'm going to go see them on Friday. You uh, are? Yeah, Chainsaws and trucks. They're playing at the crowbar. <laughs> Thanks for watching, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Make sure if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe for stuff and things. Make sure to follow on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tinder. And twice swipe right. Bye. Bye.